To make a photocopy, simply select the photocopy tab and make your selections, how many copies you'd like, and press start. So to begin with, in the output color, what we have here by default is the auto detect. Auto detect means that if you have originals that are in black and white and some that are in color, the machine will automatically detect those that are in black and white will remain in black and white, those in color will remain in color. You can force it over to black and white. And if you go to more, you've got some, a few more options. You can switch it entirely to color as well. Right under here, you'll find the reduce enlarge column. So to reduce or enlarge, you can either go with your plus or minus this way. Once the, the box is in blue, you can actually come to your keypad here and enter whatever percentage you'd like to either reduce or enlarge. If you press here, you'll end up in another screen where you have your presets. For example, if you're starting with an original that's on a legal size, so you're 8.5 by 14 and you want your copy on an 8.5 by 11, the machine will automatically shrink that to fit onto your 8.5 by 11. And if you look here on your left hand side of your screen, you've got the auto center feature. So not only will the machine in this case reduce, it will also center your image. Your paper supply is at automatically select, which means that the machine will determine the size of your originals and on its own go and get the right size paper. If you want to um, indicate that you want the machine to go to a particular tray, for example, let's say you place color paper in your bypass tray, you can press more and you'll see all of your paper trays from here. And you can make your selection, for example, the bypass tray. I do recommend that when you're making your photocopies from the glass, not to leave it at automatically select, but rather to select your paper size, especially if you're working with small documents, checks, or ID cards, or anything like that. Right next to paper supply here, we'll find the two-sided copying. Um, by default, it's at 1-1, one, one, which means that you're starting with originals that are printed on one side and you want your copies to come out the same. You're going to select 1-2 to two if ever you're starting with originals that are printed on one side only, something like what I have here, okay, printed on one side. Okay, but you'd like to save paper, you'd like your copies to come out two-sided. So you can place them right into your handler here, select 1-2. to two and press start. So here we have the result. Page one in the front, two in the back, three in the front, four in the back. So it's a great way to save paper. Next we'll see two to two-sided. This is when you're starting with originals that are already printed on both sides and you want your copies to come out the same, so two-sided as well. The two to one is when you're starting with two-sided originals, but you'd like your copies to come out one-sided. Right next to that, we'll find the copy output. So by default, your copies are coming out collated. Collated means that your copies are going to come out in the same order as your document. So if you put a three-page document, yes, for three sets, you'll end up with three sets of one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, with a one-inch offset in between each set. If you press here, you can ask for one uh, for your copies to come out either with a portrait staple or right underneath here, a landscape staple. Some machines may have the folding option. This one happens to have a professional finisher, so it's got the folding option, but this is not necessarily the case with your machine. If you have it, you can ask for this folding, and what it will do is actually fold your photocopy in the middle. If you go to more, you'll see that you've got the option to ask for your copies to come out uncollated. This is if ever you'd like to have all the copies of page one, all the copies of page two, all the copies of page three. And you'll also notice that you've got the option to ask for two staples. When you ask your two staples, you really do have to select your paper size. The machine automatically brings you to this screen. So you select your paper size and click OK. And then you can go ahead and press Start. So this is your basic copy tab.